Hi, welcome to clickbyproject.com. Now we are going to see the title of Anomaly Detection via Online Oversampling Principal Compound Analysis. In this process, we are going to detect the anomalies in the network by using the concept of data mining and the machine learning. In this real world applications such as intrusion and critical fraud detections and record an effective and efficient framework to identify the anomalies. Here in previous days we are using a, a principal compound analysis which is called as a PCA. The PCA is the one which is efficiently detect the anomalies at the offline. That is the major drawback of the PCA. For that purpose uh, we are going to use a OSPCA algorithm. Here the OSPCA stands for online oversampling online sampling PCA. In this in each and every package is transfer unlike the prior principal components analysis based on approaches we do not share the entire data matrix or coverture matrix. We are going to transfer only the what type of packets is currently transferring for that packet only we are going to detect the anomaly. In previous we are going to verify the properties and analyze the properties of the anomalies in offline. After the detection only we are going to make an online sampling detection. Now we are going to see the data flow for the process. In this the first the anomaly detection is made at the offline mode by using the PCA algorithm. This PCA algorithm is used to detect the anomaly in the offline mode. After that each and online update technique is proposed. In this online update technique the each and every packet is transferred that packet will be compared with the anomaly detection which is already done and check whether that abnormal data instance. If the pa detected packet is an abnormal means then the decision will be made is removing or adding the packet. If removing is nothing but if it is a normal packet means then we are not going to add it into the uh, anomaly uh, anomaly page and <coughs> send the data to send the data to the user. If it is an anomaly then that will be added to the anomaly page and data will be removed from the process. This is the two different kind of things which is done here and after that leave one out strategy that means the data will be forwarded or not which we discussed earlier and calculate the data set directions okay by using the two eigenvectors one is the target, target target instance and another one is the data point score after finding that we are going to check whether it is an outlier data or not and if it is an outlier data means then produce a PCA solution for that and the data will be transferred to the client in this we are going to see the running procedure for the process first of all we need to run the edit.java which is the home page for the process right click it and click run file once the process is getting started we need to upload the data set here the data set is pima data set which is used to for transaction and make the anomalies in that process here the data set is only working for pima data set because the PMA data set and the each and every data set has a separate view and a separate number of different distinct number of attributes. For that only we are going to use a PMA data set. The PMA data set is the network data set to verify the anomalies in present or not. This is the data set, click open and here is the data will be the path will be shown. After that click share button, it during the share button the data will be transferred to the database and uh, previous data data are deleted and click ok and click next. Here is we are going to view the attributes present in the data set. These are the attributes present in the data set. Now we are going to classify this thing. and click classify and click view. This is the class variable data set. Here, this is the class variable. By this class variable only, we are going to classify the data present in the data set. And click next and click save here. Before we 
this save is used to save the data in the class wise database because there are two types of classes there one is class 0 and then another is a class 1 they are going to classify those things and then the classified data will be saved in the database and click view button and here is the this is the data class variable for 1 and this is the class variable for 0 and click next now we are going to see the or uh, make a data clean process the data clean data data clean and the data processing is the two type of work present in the PCA the data cleaning is first we need to pre-post the entire data and then only we are going to predict the anomaly here we are going to select any type class 1 or class 2 or class both I am going to choose class 0 then click generate file then click view data here this we are going to get the class 0 attribute alone we are not going, going to take the class 1 attribute why we are taking this class 0 means first we need to there are two types of class and two different properties are there for that only we are going to analyze the two both the properties also for that only we are going to take class 0 and class phase generate the file and click view data then this is the basic information number of rows in that file and number of columns and value this is a sample value check whether is that this class 0 data set here the input sample values is the, is the value which is denoted the number of unique items and the number of the and some of the unique values then click mean and standard deviation and this is the mean means for the each and every column and this is the standard deviation for the each and every column why we are taking this this is used for further process then click sscp and cpm which is uh, sscp is the sum of square and cp is the cross product matrix this part this matrix will be not shown by now this will be shown uh, later this is the matrix which is used to do a generator weighted matrix or a covariance matrix then click detection here and click calculate the data will be calculated this is the matrix value but in our case we are going to show it in a line by line format this is the matrix value for the each and this is the zeroth column and zeroth row this is the zeroth column sorry one column and zeroth row this is the tooth column and zeroth row this, likewise only we are going to it goes on this is the matrix which is calculated here and we are going to show on here and click the EVD Eigen Vector Distance this is the Eigen Vector Calculation and I, I, this is the Eigen Vector Scaling this is the 0, 0, 0, 0,0 0, 1,0, 0, 0,2, 0, 0,1,0, 0, 0, 1,0, 1,0, 1,0, 2,0, 2,0, like I said the Eigen Vector goes on and click TCA this is the PCA calculation for the each and every rows present in the EVD calculation. After that, PCA weight. This is a rotation transformation and this is the PCA weight transformation and weight whitening transformation for the process and decorrelation. This process is called as a correlation. Before that the decorrelation, this process is called as correlation. After that only we are going to calculate the data and this is the data we got it here this is the one thing which is false and get the vector value for the process and get the threshold is this is the initial threshold and this is the final threshold and click correlation the data which is present uh, below that is the correlation value and this is the anomalies if the data will be greater than an initial threshold means that will be the anomaly thanks for watching this video